we tend to think value or taste is our own individual opinion. But we greatly ignore the well-known fact for years back in theory and also in the practice life that we are greatly influenced by the society around us and by the people around us. I have a friend who was walking <coughs> in a little town in Orissa in India. She was cooperating with people who do handicrafts in India, but she was stopped by the Agricultural Bank of India and was introduced to an untouchables village of 60 families in nearby that city. These untouchables are castless, so they are the bottom, the very bottom of the society. Even if the caste system now is officially not uh, acknowledged by the Indian society, unofficially in unofficial behaviors, that still exists very strongly, particularly in the rural areas. She goes to that village and looks at them and the 60 people who live, 60 families who live in, in mud houses, by the way, and under the poverty line, um, under the one dollar per day earnings, and looks at their products or their earning or the source of their earning, which is baskets. So these villagers do baskets, are very skillful in doing those baskets and sell them in the local market. Nevertheless, even if they have that very, very source of earning, their earning per person is very low and they are very poor. She goes back to Finland, employs a very famous Finnish designer who comes and looks at the baskets and designs those very baskets to lampshades. And we go back to the village and the villagers do his lampshades with their traditional knowledge. And these very lampshades, which at the moment are four different types, travel to Paris Design Week, travel to New York and are selling in Finland in a design store, in a luxurious design street of Finland. With those sales, we and the firm can partly alleviate the poverty that this village has. But the more particular thing that happened with that event of bringing those baskets out from the very village to New York, to Paris, to Europe, to Finland, has changed the taste and the value of those baskets in the local market. These people whose products were not valued in their local market, these people who were not valued by their peers in the village, these people who are the lowest of the lowest in the Indian society, are now selling more of their baskets because the rumor goes, the reputation goes, the worth of mouth goes that these very baskets are valued in Finland, are valued in Paris and New York and they sell more in their local market. Without altering the product, without doing advertising, without doing social marketing in, in, in internet, just by reputation, just by the fact that they are valued somewhere else more than they are valued in the local market.